everybody and welcome back. I'm Schism and I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make kibble. Kibble's a new food they've introduced into the game and it's going to allow you to increase the effectiveness of which you tame a dinosaur. So when you're done taming, you're going to have 100 plus levels, those bonus levels you're trying to chase. What you're going to do is get a preservation bin, put some spark powder and some oil in it. Get your cooked meat and your cooked prime meat, and this will over time turn it into cooked meat jerky or prime meat jerky. If you've got preservation bins and you're storing your fruits or vegetables, or you might store them in a refrigerator, definitely do this. This allows you to get long grass and your different vegetables like your sabo roots. As you can see, we've got different eggs. Different eggs will tame dinosaurs in different ways. So just say you have a spino egg mixed with prime meat jerky, that's going to tame a megalodon a lot faster. So in today's episode, I'll just show us with we get a parasaur with some long grass. I think that's going to tame a raptor a lot better. What I'll do in the description below, I'll put a link to a website that shows you which dinosaurs prefer which egg and the ingredients and recipes required to make the kibble. So I'm going to get some, uh, where is it, some cooked meat jerky. Every recipe will require two medjo berries, doesn't matter which one you use, it's going to require it, as well as three fiber. So make sure you've got that. They also have a water skin as well, about 25% full of water, and you need to put it in a cooking pot. It's going to be time you start collecting two of every dinosaur so they can start making those eggs so you can collect them. So what you do is you head over to the cooking pot, you'll put the different ingredients in, like the fiber, the jerky, the cooked meat jerky, the long grass, and what happens once you light the fire, it will actually turn it into some kibble parasol. This is the kibble I made for the dinosaurs a little bit earlier so I can speed up the video and this is one for your megalodons, it uses a spino egg. Now, if you're new to the game and you're not sure really how to mass produce your, your vegetables or your fruits, what you need to do is set up a farm or a cabbage patch. People call them, call them different names <laughs> for this video, let's just call them a cabbage patch. And you're going to need to set up near a water source. A lot of people do run your irrigation from creeks or from bottom of caves up into your, into your garden or your cabbage patch. So what we've done is we've just set off by the creek real quickly. You're going to want to fortify it, you're not going to want to have it in the open. Definitely use fertilizer to speed up the process. This allows you to make your higher end recipes like your kibble. So I'm just heading there now, just to give you an example. Jumpy jump, we'll get there. So this is what we've got set up so we can uh, mass produce our vegetables. <laughs> we've already got so many. Sounds like a little spa bath going on in here. And as you can see, we've got a set up here. Our irrigation actually doesn't stream straight from the river. We've got an irrigation pipe running down into the ground so people can't destroy uh, irrigation from outside the building they have to break in to do it and then for example you can just have your crops that grow here if I can show you <laughs> there we go and this allows you to you know grow your different different vegetables your different fruits and you need seeds to plant them in fertilizer helps them grow then you're going to need a water resource you can store them in the fridge but hopefully this episode has helped you if it has feel free to leave a comment below and like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.